The formation of oil in the Earth's crust is a complex process that takes millions of years and involves the transformation of organic material under specific geological conditions. Here's a detailed explanation of how oil is formed. Accumulation of organic material is in scientific terms. Oil formation begins with the accumulation of organic material, primarily from microscopic marine organisms like plankton and algae. When these organisms die, their remains settle on the sea floor, mixing with sediments like mud and sand. This sedimentation over time, layers of sediments accumulate on top of the organic-rich layer. This process of sedimentation buries the organic material deeper under the sea floor, creating an anaerobic oxygen-poor environment that slows down the decomposition process. This is crucial because it prevents the organic material from being completely decomposed by bacteria. Diagenesis is when the sediments and organic material are buried further, they undergo diagenesis, a process that involves physical and chemical changes under low temperature and pressure. During this stage, the organic material is transformed into a substance called kerogen, a complex mixture of organic compounds. Kerogen is the precursor to oil and gas. as catagenesis. With continued burial, the sediments and kerogen are subjected to increasing temperatures and pressures. When temperatures reach between 60 degrees Celsius and 120 degrees Celsius 140 degrees Fahrenheit to 248 degrees Fahrenheit, kerogen undergoes catagenesis, a process in which it breaks down into liquid hydrocarbons, forming crude oil, and gaseous hydrocarbons, forming natural gas. This transformation typically occurs at depths of 2 to 4 kilometers, 1.2 to 2.5 miles, below the Earth's surface. Migration Once formed, the oil and gas begin to migrate from the source rock where they were formed due to the pressure of overlying rocks. They move through porous and permeable rock layers, such as sandstone or limestone, in a process called primary migration. Eventually, they may accumulate in a reservoir rock, where they become trapped by an impermeable cap rock, such as shale or salt. This secondary migration is critical for the formation of oil reservoirs that can be tapped for extraction. Accumulation and Trapping For oil and gas to be commercially viable, they must accumulate in significant quantities in a reservoir rock and be trapped by a cap rock. These trapped hydrocarbons form an oil reservoir. The geological structures that trap oil and gas include anticlines upward arching folds of rock layers, fault traps created by the movement of rock along a fault line, salt domes large, bulbous masses of salt that deform surrounding rock layers, The conclusion is, 
As the formation of oil is a multi-stage process involving the accumulation of organic material, burial and sedimentation, transformation into kerogen, breakdown into hydrocarbons, and migration and trapping in reservoir rocks. This process takes millions of years and requires specific geological conditions to transform organic material into the oil that we extract and use today.